in the depths of our darkest moments. When fear threatens to consume us, there is a beacon of hope that shines brighter than any earthly light. This hope is not just a fleeting emotion, but a rock, solid promise from the creator of the heavens and the earth. Today, we will explore the powerful truth of Psalm 27, a testament to God's unwavering protection and love. My friends, if you've ever felt lost, afraid, or uncertain about your future, this message is for you. Now, if you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Psalm 27 verse 1, King David boldly declares, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? These words remind us that with God as our protector, we have nothing to fear. My dear friends, imagine for a moment that you're standing at the edge of a vast canyon. The depths below seem endless, and the other side appears unreachable. This canyon represents the challenges and fears that often paralyze us in life. But here's the truth. God is not just standing beside you at the edge of that canyon. He's already built a bridge for you to cross. This bridge is His love, His protection, and His promises. Today, we'll explore how to step onto that bridge with confidence, knowing that God will keep us safe every step of the way. Let's begin this journey together, considering the fortress of faith. My friends, in a world filled with uncertainty, God offers us an unshakable foundation. Psalm 27 verse 5 tells us, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me, he shall set me high upon a rock. This verse paints a vivid picture of God's protection. He doesn't just stand beside us in our troubles. He envelops us in his presence, shielding us from harm. Think about that for a moment. The creator of the heavens and the earth, the almighty God personally takes it upon himself to guard you. You are so precious to him that he provides a secret hiding place, a fortress of faith where no enemy can reach you. This fortress, isn't made of stone or steel, but of something far stronger, God's unwavering love and faithfulness. In the book of Zephaniah 3, verse 17, we find another beautiful promise. The Lord your God, in your midst, the Mighty One will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with His love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Can you imagine that? The God who spoke the stars into existence sings over you with joy. He's not a distant or uncaring, but a loving Father who delights in His children. When we truly grasp this truth, fear loses its power over us. We begin to see our challenges not as overwhelming obstacles, but as opportunities for God to demonstrate His might. Consider the story of Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles. When faced with a vast army, he didn't rely on his own strength. Instead, he turned to God in prayer and praise. And God responded by setting ambushes against the enemy, delivering Jehoshaphat and his people. My dear friends, God offers you the same assurance today. Whatever battle you're facing, be it illness, financial struggles, or relationship problems, God is with you in the midst of it. He is your fortress, your protector, your loving Father. What a mighty God we serve. My friends, 
Let's now focus on the transformative power of God's presence in our lives. Psalm 27 verse 4 reveals David's deepest desire. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. This verse shows us that the key to overcoming fear and uncertainty is not found in our own strength, but in seeking God's presence. When we make dwelling with God our priority, everything else falls into place. Consider the profound impact of God's presence in the life of Ezra. In Ezra verse 8, we read, And the hand of our God was upon us, and He delivered us from the hand of the enemy and from ambush along the road. Ezra and his companions faced a perilous journey, yet they experienced God's protection because they sought His presence. My dear friends, the same God who protected Ezra is with you today. His presence is not limited to ancient times or sacred spaces. He is with you in your home, at your workplace, in your car. Wherever you go, He goes with you. But here's the crucial question. Are we aware of His presence? Do we acknowledge Him in our daily lives? Too often, we rush through our days, consumed by our tasks and worries, forgetting that the Almighty God is right there with us. Imagine how different our lives would be if we constantly reminded ourselves of God's presence. Our anxieties would diminish, our courage would grow, and our peace would deepen. In Isaiah 41, verse 10, God speaks these comforting words, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This promise is for you, my friends. God is not a distant observer of your life. He is an active participant. He strengthens you when you're weak, helps you when you're struggling, and upholds you when you're falling. His presence is your ultimate source of security and peace. As we face the challenges of life, Let's make a conscious effort to acknowledge God's presence in every moment. My friends, let's now turn our attention to the unfailing promise of God's provision. David's confidence in God's care shines through in every verse of this psalm. In Psalm 27 verse 10, he declares, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. These words remind us that God's provision goes beyond our earthly supports. Even when human relationships fail us, God remains our constant provider. This provision isn't always what we expect, but it's always what we need. Consider the story of the widow of Zarephath in 1 Kings. During a severe famine, God provided for her in an unexpected way. First, Kings 17 verse 16 tells us, The bin of flour was not used up, nor did the jar of oil run dry, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. God's provision wasn't lavish, but it was sufficient and continuous. My dear friends, God promises the same faithful provision for you today. He may not always give you everything you want, but He will always give you what you need. In Philippians 4 verse 19, we read, And my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This verse assures us that God's provision is not limited by earthly constraints. He draws from the unlimited resources of His glory to meet our needs. Sometimes, God's provision comes in the form of strength to endure. Other times, it's wisdom to make the right decision. 
Often, it's peace in the midst of turmoil. My friends, as you go about your day, I want you to carry this truth with you. God will provide for you. Not might provide, not could provide, but will provide. It's a promise backed by the boundless resources of the Almighty God. Whatever needs you're facing, whatever scarcity is troubling you, remember that you are under the care of the Most High God. He is your provider, your sustainer, your source. In His generosity, you find abundance. In His faithfulness, you find security. In His promises, you find assurance. So go forth with confidence, my dear friends. Face your needs with faith. Confront your lack with trust. For the God who feeds the birds of the air and clothes the lilies of the field has promised to provide for you. And He always, always keeps His promises. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me, or listen to this prayer in faith, so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, I come before you in thanksgiving and praise. You are the Lord, my light and my salvation, the one who shields me from all harm. I exalt your holy name, because you alone are worthy of all praise. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. No one compares to you, Lord, for you are great and mighty, sovereign in all your ways. You are my stronghold, the one who keeps me safe in times of trouble, and I worship you for your unshakable love. You sit enthroned above all creation, and your reign is everlasting. I thank you, Father, for your endless mercy and grace over my life. Thank you for being my protector, for hiding me under the shadow of your wings. I give you all the praise for guiding my steps and never leaving me nor forsaking me. Merciful Lord, I come humbly before you, asking for your forgiveness. Forgive me of all my sins, both known and unknown, and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord, I also release anyone who has wronged me. I choose to forgive them as you have forgiven me. Renew a right spirit within me, that I may walk in your ways and be pleasing in your sight. Father, I stand on the promises of Psalm 27, knowing that you are the one who keeps me secure. You are the stronghold of my life, and because of you, I will not fear. I declare in the name of Jesus that no force of darkness will prevail against me. I rebuke every attack of the enemy, and I bind every spirit of fear, confusion, and doubt, and I cast them out. In the name of Jesus, you are my defender, Lord, and I trust in you completely to keep me safe from every snare of the enemy. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart will not fear, for you are my shield and my protector. Lord, you are my hiding place. I find refuge in your presence, and I know that you will preserve me. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises in judgment against me will be condemned. I speak healing over my body and mind. In the name of Jesus, for by your stripes I am healed. I declare restoration in every area of my life that has been broken. I pray for protection over my loved ones, that you would keep them safe from harm, shield them from sickness, and guard them from every attack of the enemy. Lord, I declare divine blessings over our lives and ask that your favor would surround us like a shield. I ask for peace in our homes, for joy in our hearts, 
and for strength to endure every trial we face. I stand against every work of the enemy in our lives and claim victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. Father, we come in agreement, lifting one another in prayer and standing together in faith. We declare that your divine protection is over each of us, that your presence will go with us wherever we go. In the name of Jesus, we claim healing for our bodies, peace for our minds, and strength for our spirits. Lord, we trust in you to keep us, to protect us, to provide for us, and to guide us according to your will. We claim victory over every obstacle, every challenge, and every attack in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks, Lord, for your goodness, your faithfulness, and your grace that covers us. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus, you can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory, and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.